Our second question is, what was your worst costume or costume, oops, from Anna P. College Consulting? Uh, worst costume in college specifically or in general? In general. I was going to say, because I didn't have too many, like, in college costumes. I don't even remember what I did half the time. Um, I know I did a Mother Golf book, but that was pretty awesome. <laughs> it was my friend's boyfriend was Flynn Rider, so I ran into him and she was like, oh my gosh, accidental costume. That. Did you guys, like, do a scene? We just did, we just stood together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 They have like a one scene together in the movie, and it's when she tries to kill him. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I think my it's bad scene. <laughs> <scenario. laughs> yes. I'm gonna need to think about this for a minute. I don't have a. a I know. I'm trying to think about it too because I can think of costumes I like, but not. I have like an oops, oops college oops. moment, like stupidity thing. It wasn't really a costume oops. It was so I was a zombie because that's really easy costume to do in college. You just kind of rip up clothing and don't wear makeup and don't do your hair when you wake up. <laughs> Um, but I did get fake blood, and I just put it everywhere, like, all over my clothes, all over my skin, and, you know, I went out, came back, took a shower that night, probably went to bed, but, you know, I was late, and I don't think I washed myself as much as I should have, so the next morning I wake up, I go to class, there's, like, blood still oh, all down no. my back over here, and nobody told me, so I'm, like, <laughs> walking through campus, to class, went to class, like people were looking at me, but I was like, it's probably because I'm so tired. And then I, I made it till dinner. And then finally someone was like, hey, are you bleeding? <laughs> Literally all day. And yeah. No one, no one said anything. I'm like, no one was like, um, you're bleeding. Maybe you should wash that. Or like, hey, are you okay? Like no one's concerned. Yikes. What? Yeah, go, yeah, go see someone. Go and then you're blood. like, why? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> nothing jeez i don't know and it was like really obvious like it was on my back but you could clearly see it yeah it has a pretty so big oops so you're gonna know, yeah if you're gonna go out on a school night yeah or just any night make sure you clean yourself <laughs> <laughs> make sure you clean yourself moral of the story friends i guess i could go with the worst costume i did um my worst costume was senior year i forgot it was gonna be halloween <laughs> Like, I was... Because it doesn't come this... I was going to say, it doesn't come the same time, same time. time. No, no, so, no, no, no. so the one in Ireland, is, the one when I was in study abroad was, I forgot it was Halloween because there was just not... Like, here we, we put up pumpkins everywhere and all that. They, yeah, you weren't they inundated just, with, like, the Yeah, Halloween it just wasn't stuff. a big deal in Italy. Like, their whole big thing is Carnival when they have the masks and the costumes and all that. And I... That's another time I would not want to be somewhere is... Venice and Carnival. It would be amazing. It would be great. That look was really good with it. So too. many people. <laughs> so many people. I'm um, here. But my senior year, I <laughs> forgot that it was Halloween because Halloween was never really my thing. Mm. Like, I was, it was never really a huge deal for me after I stopped going trick or treating. I was just going, <laughs> I, got to, I still have to do homework. Um, so I. Last minute, I was pulling down my uh, bulletin board because I was an RA and I was, I was pulling everything down. And it was a red, like, piece of butcher's paper. And I was like, okay, I'll just pin this to my shirt and I'll put an S right here. And I'm a super girl. <laughs> and it did not look great. It was not well done. But it was a costume. Last minute, thrown together. At least you wear all black. That's true. Just all black. <laughs> <laughs> to like, be fair, that's my aesthetic most of the time. I have thought of one. Uh, and this was definitely like, it wasn't a bad costume, but it was an oops. Mm -hmm. And this is also kind of an ironic story to tell. Because right now I have a very badly sprained ankle. Uh, and it's a sprained ankle story. Mm -hmm. So it was, I think it was my senior year of high school. It possibly could have been my junior year, but it was spirit week. And so it was kind of close-ish to Halloween, but we obviously made a bunch of costumes for different um, themed days or whatever. Did you guys do spirit week in high school? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we had things like pajama day. Uh, one year we did salad dressing day where if you were like Caesar dressing you dressed up as people from like Rome if you had uh, we uh, ranch dressing you dressed up as like western cowboys and yeah. stuff and so one of the days we always did was um, decade day yeah. and 
ooh, that means I was, it was junior, so it was 70s. Mm-hmm. And so I was wearing this big afro and, like, a leather jacket and this really bright purple dress and then ridiculously tall white go-go boots oh. that I borrowed from a friend of my mom's that were probably at least three sizes too big for my feet. And my high school had a lot of floors. Yeah. So I... It had a lot of floors? Floors. Like, as in, like... Like, you had to climb a lot of stairs. Floor, okay, yeah. I'm like, I would hope it has a lot of floors <laughs> for you to walk on. <laughs> I mean, the high school had, Road like, four, four, four sure floors, it does. and each floor had at least one set of stairs turned another set of stairs. Okay. Kind of thing. To specify, there were floors in my high school, there was it's a lot of a levels to okay, the floors. Well, I'm sorry. There were a lot of times. So, I was super proud of myself because I was paranoid all day that I was going to fall I was going to hurt myself or I was going to embarrass myself in these shoes. I made it like the whole day. Like, yes, this was amazing. I made it in these heels. It was the best day. And then I'm going to leave at the end of the day. And I'm going down the literally the last flight of stairs before like leaving the building, which would have been another flight of stairs. But I went to step, twist my ankle, fall down the stairs Mm -hmm. in front of like a bunch of people and I could not walk in the shoes anymore after I got up because my ankle was twisted so badly that I had to like take off my shoes and walk out of school without (laughs) shoes on I think I had spares somewhere because I no I wasn't playing a sport at the time so I think I just had to walk out barefoot to go get in the car for my ride so that's my biggest costume oops can you imagine if that happened at the beginning of the day and you had to walk through the school? Yeah, well, okay. I probably would have called my parents yeah. at that point yeah. for shoes Gone substitutes. I thought it would have been like, yes. like hey, I'm going to do it. But it was the tail end of the day, and I was about to leave. I was like, if I can just uh, limp out with a little bit of dignity to my friend's mom's car, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> so I once had to be sewn into my costume. We, My senior year in high school, we got extra credit if we dressed up as a god or goddess. Oh. So I dressed up as... Aphrodite. No. Um, <laughs> one the bow. Artemis. Oh, yes. I was about to say Diana, but that's the um, that's the wrong one. Yes. So I dressed You're up as totally Artemis. Artemis. Yes, and, yeah. And I, I have, like, this, like, toga costume. And I went to put it on in the morning, and I went to zip it up, and the zipper broke. And I was like, Mom, <laughs> what do I do? So she just sewed me into it that morning. And then I got home and immediately just ripped it off and threw it out. Oh. You're like, we're done with this one. Oh, I got extra credit. So that's all that really You're matters. You're like, this is all that I wanted. And I succeeded. All I cared about is I got extra credit. And I got to wear a little crown pen. <laughs> that's solid. I got to be Aphrodite once, but it was for a play. Nice. So that was really fun to be a goddess and like wear that costume, too. It's really fun to also be slightly vicious because it was that, oh, God, what's the story? Oh, I'm going to forget it. Yeah, no, it's not going to come to me. (laughs) There's one story where she's, like, more aggressive than usual because there's, like, a a mortal woman who is prized as, like, this really beautiful, gorgeous woman. Oh, I know what you're talking about. she's jealous, and I can't think of what story it is now. I know what story you're talking about. For a second, I thought you were talking about the beginning of the... Trojan War. No. <laughs> where she's not really the nicest there. No, that's she, true. She, 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 has has her, <laughs> she has a few moments where she's not the nicest. It was just kind of entertaining to be like weirdly aggressive and like powerful and my friend was playing the other character. So it was just kind of like a fun role to play and be Aphrodite. Did you get sewn into your dress too? I did not get sewn into my dress. My costume fit fairly well. We made sure of that. <laughs> yeah. I could have fallen down I mean, I'm very clumsy in drumbo. I could have fallen down then, too, because I was up on, like, a... It was, like, a set of stairs and then, like, a platform that I was standing up on because I had to look like a goddess, like, above the mortals at first. And then come down it and then get down onto the floor, like, with my friend and be, like, like, get all up in her face and everything. It was a really intense role. I didn't expect it to be that intense for everybody. Yeah, right? (laughs) Imagine if I just fell down those stairs during the show. (laughs) 